Hello everyone, my name is Dan Neese and I'm the Helpful Dad and I'm here to you today with the Supper Love Sunday Fall Edition. I'm going to do a little something different this time around. We're not going to focus on the holiday traditional food. I'm going to do something a little different than the turkey stuffing, pecan pie, pumpkin pie, all that big stuff. We're just going to have a soup and salad today with a nice little seasonal dessert. So with that, this is our little menu and what we're going to prepare today. I have an autumn chopped salad that's going to be prepared with pears and apples, uh, dried cranberries and so forth and so on. I'm going to do a butternut squash sweet potato soup with some onions. Uh, I pre-made that simply because I only have one pot and I need that pot to make the dessert in. So I made the soup, so I'll go over with you how I made that soup and I'll tell you how easy it really is to make. And then for dessert, we're going to have a pomegranate poached pear, which is going to take a little time to cook, so we're going to get that started and we'll be ready to eat that a little bit later. So it's going to be a pear poached in pomegranate, a little bit of wine juice with and it's going to sit on top of pomegranate seeds and I'll give you a quick little tutorial on how to get the little pomegranate seeds out of the pomegranate. But we're going to start right now with the salad. You know, I already have some, you know, I, I chopped up some pears to start, but I'm going to chop up some apples and I do it the easy way, folks. I, you know, we don't have a lot of time around here. It's not the like TV where they have 30, 40 assistants chopping every little thing for them and doing this and doing that. I use this. This little gadget, just one quick thing. Oh, 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 he's sliding. He's sliding. He, don't get away there, little guy. Oh, he, he doesn't want to stay. Boom. So I have that right there. I've already pre-sliced it. The core's out. I'll take the take these the middle part out like that. I'll just throw that in the sink. And there I go. I got my chopped apple. Got a bunch of nice little romaine lettuce right there, already chopped up, ready to go. So I'm going to put that apple in there, just like so. Some of it tried to get away, but it didn't. I'll keep it there. I got my pear. So I used a red pear. Why? I'll be quite honest with you. For the dessert, I needed to use a Bosque pear, and it was X amount of dollars per, per pound. Well, I wanted a different pair for the salad, and it turned out to be the same price, so I just threw it in the same bag. So we'll put that in there. Typically, what you might want to do is you, you can get a different colored pair, you know, to you know get something a little different color skin than the apple, to little throw a little uh, um, contrast in there. I have my dried cranberries, and I'm using my son's uh, little baseball helmets he gets at the baseball stadiums. This one is actually has a it's, it's an upside down celery stalk on it. You know, that's from, I think it's from the Wilmington Blue Rocks. Uh, I like that because of the celery stalk. And he's running with his hands up in the air all happy going, I'm a celery. I have a lot of health benefits. Then we're going to pour those dried cranberries in there. I got some, yeah, I got some bacon. We're going to throw that at bacon in there. You know, we're going to do a little bacon with this today. So this is just three slices of bacon. Nice and crispy. I got that from a local farmer um, down by where my parents live in the, in the farmlands of Delaware. And she raises pigs and makes bacon right there. It's all organic right there, ready for you to go. So we have that. I'll give that a nice little toss. I did wash my hands, by the way. So I did buy a poppy seed dressing. It's an organic poppy seed dressing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar to that. Bloop, bloop, bloop. One more. And we're good there. And we'll put you in the sink and we'll wash you later when my assistant is ready to do the dishes. And I'll tell you right now, my assistant isn't very happy about that because you know why? You know where my assistant is? Right here. I'll take care of that. No worries. So we mix up that dressing, the poppy seed, and the balsamic vinegar. We'll pour it over top. We'll put that over there for my assistant, aka the helpful dad. And we'll toss it. Get everything nice and coated. Oh, that looks fantastic. And 
Now it says that you can, you know, the, the, the recipe that I used said, you know, you can throw some chopped peanuts in there. I, I didn't throw peanuts in there because I, I, well, I didn't want to throw peanuts in there today. I just wanted the nice little seasonal apples and pears and dry cranberries and be ready to go. So that's how, that's the salad, folks. I made the salad. The salad is done. Well, should give me a little, hello, and a nice little bowl there. That was actually my grandmother's bowl. So I thank her for the bowls. We have a whole bunch of bowls that she gave us. Um, so then we'll move on to the soup. Now the soup, which is back here in the crock pot, it's cooking. I don't want to tilt it because it's really, really hot. But I, I just want to tell you that it's, it's, it looks like, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's a nice little, I don't know, butternut squash color. I don't, I don't know what kind of color that is. I, it, I think it's outside of the realm of the Crayola A-Pack. So um, I'll just put that back on there because it's bubbling nice. It's reducing. It tastes fantastic. So I had a little taste of it. But what I'll tell you what's in there is I, I used uh, I think three sweet potatoes. I chopped them up nice. I took a big, giant butternut squash. I peeled it, which was I'll, I'm lucky I did not slice my finger off peeling it, even with a peeler. I've never peeled a butternut squash. You just kind of cook it in the oven. You scoop it all out and it's all good. But I'm peeling that little son of a gun and scooped everything out, cut up everything in nice little cubes. And I took this pot, boiled some water. I poured all those little cubes of sweet potatoes and butternut squash into this pot and let it cook until it was fork tender. So if, if you're wondering what fork tender means, it means when you can stick a fork in it, you know, Sticking a fork in it, it's done. You know, you know, the whole little thing. Okay. Well, we'll move on from there. I know my humor is a little, mm, but it makes me laugh, and sometimes that's the best thing. So, once it was done, poured it through a strainer to get rid of the broth that's in there, and I put it in my handy dandy spreader or um, blender. I won't tell you the name of it because I don't want to get anybody in trouble here, but it's, it's a high power blender that rhymes with um, Biter Ricks. So little by little, I put it in there and I had two cans of coconut milk. So I take the coconut milk and put it in with the butternut squash and the sweet potato. And I have a quart of organic chicken broth. Now you can make your own chicken broth if you want. Me, I, I'll just buy it this time. So I, took some organic chicken broth, mixed it with the coconut milk, and little by little, put it in the Vitamix. And I didn't put it on high, I just used the variable selection. and just took it from one and moved it on up to about seven and made it nice and smooth. So got it there, and as, it, as I got it into the crock pot, I added some pepper, you know, I cracked some pepper, I did some, uh, you know, some nice pink sea salt, and cracked that in there as well, and I've been moving that along as well. So that's cooking, we're ready for that. Now we're going to move on to the pomegranate poached pears, which is our wonderful dessert. Again, somebody was very nice and peeled these pears for me. Now these are Bosque pears, and if you can see, I sliced off the bottom to make them nice and flat. And what that's going to do is, that's going to have them help them stand upright in this pot, which is a very versatile pot, especially today. And it's making me want another one, but there's no sense for me getting another one because we live in a small house and I don't have room to put another pot. So, I take these pears, I put them in the pot. Okay. Really slippery little sucker. I'll put this in here. Love having an assistant to do the dishes for me. It's so wonderful. I have one and a half cups of pomegranate juice. I did not make that pomegranate juice myself. I gotta, I gotta admit, I did buy that. We'll take a dessert wine. We want one cup of a dessert wine. We'll say glug, glug, glug. I can't do the glug, glug, glug method. Okay, oh, no, sorry, that's later. We'll get that, sorry. So you take this, and you're gonna pour this right over top of these pears. It's my camera person is doing a fantastic job trying to get in there. You know, 
Emeril and Bobby Flay, you guys, if you're listening, you need to make these pots clear so when we're doing these filming, you can see right through it. So you got that there. So I'm going to put this on. Fast boil over here on our wonderful, wonderful stove. And that'll get going. And I'm going to let that come to a boil. And as it comes to a boil, I'm going to turn it down to more of a, a simmer. And while it's simmering uh, over the next 30 to 45 minutes while it's poaching, I'm just going to take a nice little spoon. And I'm going to pour that stuff over top. So I'm going to give you, tell you one real quick couple things here as I'm finishing this off. For the dessert, I have some sliced almonds. You, know, you see them nice little slivers? I love those. I did not slice those. Somebody in a store did a really good job with that. And then I have all my pomegranate seeds, which we're going to use on the plate to go with the pomegranate poached pears. So I have a pomegranate here. I'm not going to cut this because, like I said, I don't have 30, 40 assistants sitting behind me that are going to pop all these seeds out. But I'm just going to give you a hint on how to get all those seeds out. Take the knife, cut around this way, turn it halfway, cut it that way. So and then you pop it out and you're going to have four wedges of pomegranate. You're going to take that and you're going to pop it like that and put it over a bowl and you're just going to knock all the seeds out. And they just fall out one by one and in no time you have a big bowl of pomegranate seeds just like that. And what you're going to get with the pomegranates, you're going to get you know, stuff to help boost your immune system. You know, pomegranates are great with cancers, lung cancer, prostate cancer, breast cancer. They help with those. Um, you know, so it's going to help this time of year with your flus and your colds and so forth and so on. And, you know, with that, oh, looks like I'm, oh, sounds like we got some stuff going on back there. So with that, that is your little tutorial on your autumn chop salad, your butternut squash slash sweet potato soup. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I did get some sliced onion in there too in the soup. I forgot about that. That's why our house stinks. And everybody that walked in, my, my, my wife and our son, what is that smell? Oh, that was the two onions I did on the mandolin. Um, so that's in there as well. And then we'll, we got the pomegranate uh, poached pears going. So when we're ready, we'll be, have everything set up to go and we'll finish everything off and we'll have a beautiful supper love Sunday dinner together. Uh, we'll have our questions ready for you and we'll be ready to rock and roll with this. So I want to thank you for your time. If you have any questions, uh, raise your hand uh, and I'll get to those later. And thank you very much. My name is Dan Neese. I'm the Healthful Dad. Thank you. And I can't wait to share Supper Love Sunday with you. Thank you very much. Have a great evening.